Okay, this is pretty fucking awesome. Change of pace, eh? After the last video being in Talbo, surrounded by other campers in a small little area, this is a hell of a difference. <laughs> the road into here was long, windy gravel road. Yeah, it's a bit of a wave to come, like an hour's drive from Talbo, so there's absolutely nobody around, <laughs> which is pretty fucking awesome. I'm pretty excited about this actually. This has put me in a really good mood. I've been in a bit of a downer recently. Like, the last video was a bit shit, didn't really have anything to record, but. I feel like I got my mojo back. <laughs> Pretty happy again. I'm in the arse end of nowhere. Nobody's around. No phone signal. So, uh... It's supposed to be a waterfall about one and a half k's down the road. So I figured, hey, you know, grab all my gear and go check it out. Got my tripod there on my back, all the camera gear. Yeah, I figured I'll go for a wander. Let's see what I can find. Guys, it's a hedgehog. There's a little hedgehog marching along. It's coming right this way. on him. <laughs> Alright fella, I'm gonna leave you to it now. Bye bye. This is <laughs> really steep and slippery, and I am <laughs> trying to record while priming it, which is not a good idea. This rock formation has been scientifically established to be part of a large ignimbrite outcrop formed naturally 33, 330,000 years ago. Ignimbrite. Yes, I know exactly what that is. Well, at least this place isn't closed due to tree felling. <laughs> So at the edge of the campsite, just off from the car, is this little, uh, like, trodden path into the forest here. Uh, leads into this little clearing area with this creepy thing here. <laughs> looks very Blair Witch, doesn't it? <laughs> Surrounded by all these trees, this place looks ancient. Well, looks like, yet again, Sean Bean was right. Winter, Winter is coming. 
Yeah, last night was definitely the coldest night. <laughs> the temperature suddenly plummeted. Um, when I tried to get up at about one o'clock in the morning or something to take a piss, I couldn't even open the car door because it had frozen shut. <laughs> Remember the star, remember the star, when my future needed clarity. Yeah, we got this beautiful frost out this morning. It's uh, like 7 o'clock right now. Yes. The sun's coming out, it's starting to warm up, so this probably won't last very long. I bet you any money by midday it's going to be nice and warm again. Yeah, well it's midday now, and yeah, it has warmed up a bit, but uh, it's overcast as fuck, and it's still pretty damn cold, so I think I'm probably going to spend the day in the car. <laughs> well, looks like the sunshine's come out now, but uh, fortunately, it's a little bit too late for some. I don't think he's going to make it. Of course, I'm joking, that's cruel. I'm gonna give him a proper burial. So now I am proper in the forest. <laughs> So I managed to push my way through all the shrubberies off of the path to come into the actual forest a little bit. I know that the camping ground in the car is like over that way somewhere, sort of about half a K. But I've got to make my way through the forest to get to it. I mean, I could push my way back through to get onto the path and walk that, but I thought it would be more fun this way. I just want my hand held, I ain't talking game boys And I ain't been in magazines, but me and you can play boy I'm looking for the same joy, the same touch and smolder That I get when I lay my head down on your shoulder, that's real I always want to know how you feel You bring me out my great depressions, I think you're the new deal I'm staring at you in the mirror like fucking blue steel Wide-eyed smiling, I'm just trying to help your mood heal So if there's anything that I can do to help the weaker side of you Just let me know and I can move my schedule up and down I'm sorry if I haven't been the best at how I'm managing the problems that I'm handling. My head was in the ground, and truly, it's a miracle that you are even well, spoiled the path. Fruitless or endearing, I actually need to get down to it. Around. And if you're feeling terrible, your sickness is unparalleled, your headache is unbearable. Just step into the sun. I don't mind at all. My ibuprofen and my Tylenol or yours at the sound of your siren's call. Cause I ain't letting you hurt tonight at all. Tonight. Rock and roll. Uh. And we're off. Yeah, I like this camera angle. It's a very top gear camera angle. So I'm finally leaving that campsite. I've been there for about five days now, I think. And I finally like ran out of water and I need to resupply and all that stuff. But also I would like to get online and find out if my IRD number has turned up. So I'm heading back into Taupo, going to hit up the library as usual, uh, get online, check for the IRD number. Uh, if it hasn't arrived, then I'm going to have to call them up, which is going to be a nightmare because last time I called them I was on hold for about a bloody hour, literally. Hopefully I can get that sorted out today or at least find out some information about it. Then on top of that, I'm going to need to, uh, you know, stock up on food and water and all of that stuff. Then it's uh, basically a coin toss at that point. If my IRD number has shown up, then I can start looking for work. If it hasn't shown up, then I'm probably going to have to disappear off into the outback again, maybe even come back to this spot for another few days waiting for that to turn up. In both cases, there may not be a video next week. So, yeah, don't, don't worry if <laughs> there's not a video for a little bit. I'm sure I'll update people on what's happening, but you know, it's kind of all up in the air at the moment. I mean, it has been for a few weeks now, but uh, fingers crossed this all gets sorted out today. You know? Some 
good news about my IRD number. I didn't have to call them because they've called me. <laughs> Literally, I rolled into town. I've got a missed call from them with a message saying, basically, all they need is for me to send them my visa, which seems a little bit weird. Surely, like, Inland Revenue would be able to get hold of that from the government, but apparently they need me to email it to them, but that should be it. So once I've sent that off, I should be getting my IRD number. Then I'll be looking for work. <laughs> So there's hope yet, but still, might not be a video next week, so don't expect too much. 